DraftKings proclaiming $1.5 billion in payouts. This daily fantasy sports for cash game advertises numerous sports leagues, including NASCAR. FanDuel, another popular daily fantasy sports site, promotes real money, no season-long commitment. Daily sports fantasy games online versus the casino. Lawmakers who fought for years to make slots and table games legal in Maryland see an unregulated competitor. Well, my preference is, is, uh, is to uh, abandon them, quite frankly. But, but instead, uh, Senate President Mike Miller's chamber is sending the House two bills. One allows voters to decide through a referendum question in November whether daily fantasy sports should be legal in the state, setting up a fight over the airways before it's decided at the ballot box. One, we're saying to the companies, you're not legal, we're definitely not legal, but if you want to get legal, you can take the issue to referendum and let the people decide. The State Lottery and Gaming Control Commission would regulate it. Internet fantasy sports operators would have to be licensed by the state and the games would only be open to registered players in the state. If voters reject making daily fantasy sports legal, the other measure prohibits offering or participating in Internet daily sports fantasy games in Maryland. They want to get legal, they can come in and ask a bill to, uh, to pass a bill to make them legal and because uh, we, we, we don't have that option at the present time. Now, the second measure defines the activity as illegal except for small social groups. House leaders are suggesting there may not be enough time to entertain the Senate bills that they just got today. Some 30 states are grappling with this issue. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.